What's going on guys? It is Gruff the Griffin and I am playing the For Honor beta. This game looks so fun. Um I had a I played a little bit of it. I have uh, I've been playing Raider cuz I personally like the Vikings a lot better. Um this is the open beta that's going on right now. Um it will be done I believe tomorrow which is the 12th. Um but I'll probably not to date this video but it's probably over by the time that you're watching this. Uh, the game goes live on uh, February 14th, just in time for Valentine's Day. If you're into murder on Valentine's Day, let's take a look at uh, what's going on. Ooh, last turn played. Okay, what's going on with the uh, the world map? So for those of you who don't know about uh, For Honor, it is a... How do, I, how do I describe this? It is a awesome game. That's the first, first and foremost. Uh... We'll do that. We'll do win a dual match. Um, player versus AI. Just so I can get a, a, some steel for it. Um, but For Honor is a... I don't really know how to describe it. It's... Uh, oh, God, look at my fucking raider. I forgot how badass he looked. It is a... In, in most senses, it's a 4v4 where you play as heroes trying to conquer points. Um, what I'm doing right now is a 1v1 versus a bot. And uh, there are three different factions you can pick from. This is Samurai, the Knights, and the, uh, the Vikings. Uh, Vikings are more power-based, Samurais are speed, and Knights are pretty balanced. Um, and basically, you pick from your faction, but that does not affect uh, what characters you can play. Oh, oh, he picked a Viking. Ooh. So that is the Warlord. He has a sword and shield, whereas I just have a big axe. And... Uh, See if we can block his shit. Yep. Get out of here. So that that green bar that uh that's charging up under my health, that is your stamina bar. When you run out of stamina, you can no longer attack and it makes it pretty much a fair and uneven game for the for the person you're fighting against. So, but I really like the uh, the Viking classes. The uh... ooh, ooh. so if you're seeing that red arrow, this game is almost always about blocking hero strikes. So these three arrows down here, around this shield, are where you're guarding and where you're attacking from. And when it flashes red on that side, that's where you need to block from. Uh. So dueling and uh, fighting enemies in this game is really like you need to know how to do it. Otherwise, you are going to be at a disadvantage. Like, I am... I'm getting way too greedy with my hits. But you go into revenge mode, and it's all okay. Because now you're just the fucking worst. And execution. So revenge mode is basically... You get, like, super buff, and you get, like, an, an armor bar instead of a health bar. So once that armor bar goes down, they start doing damage to your health again. Um, and this can happen at any point. It usually just happens when you're at low health. Time to show why the raider is actually my favorite character in this game. Because... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. You So basically, you can throw them off edges. Oh, but I'm about to die. Yeah, he's going to get me because I got cocky. Unless I can get him. Unless I can get him with this next hit. I'm going to back up and uh, get him off the edge. Yeah! I should not have won that. I, I got too cocky and I got carried away. Look how badass that dude is. Oh, my God. Hey, switch that axe up, buddy. So there is no edge throwing here. Um, so this will be the last round. If I beat him here, I win the I win the duel. Now this is this is obviously a uh, a CPU because if this was a real person, I would not be faring well. I am not good against real people. Come on! Oh! Let's 
So knock him down and get him the axe. Oh, I'm running. Out. I'm out of stamina. I gotta back up. Let it recharge and head back in. Oh, oh! Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the win. Oh, I should not have won that either. I got way too cocky. But I did. I beat him. Three to zero. Good job. Way to go, me. Real proud of myself. I didn't find any loot, but that's all right, because I completed an order, which is like bounties. Um, I got 300 steel for that, and I reached level 6, which is uh, means you unlock more stuff. Um, 490 steel. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we'll quit to main menu, and I'll show you the other, the other modes on here. Um, well, I'll show you the customization, because you can get pretty in-depth with the character customization. I have not unlocked any of the other characters, so um, the first three characters that you get that you don't have to unlock are the Warden, which is basically, like, he wields a, a big claymore, uh, the Raider, who wields a two-handed axe, and the uh, the Kensei, who, uh, who has a big fucking katana. Um, they're all basically, they're all uh, easy-to-use classes because they're the vanguards. Um, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, the Kensei has really good range. So does the Nobushi, which is my least favorite character to play against. She is a hybrid character, and she's very hard to play. But if you can get good with her, you can basically keep uh, people out of range and just destroy them. Uh, there's also the Orochi, who is an assassin, who is very hard to play. Um, and basically, you can just run around with a sword and kill people. Kind of like the Berserker. The Assassins are probably the murder class. Like, if you want to go and kill people, these are the classes you need to play. Um, just like the Peacekeeper. is. Uh, they're all really good at just getting in, getting hits, and getting out. Um, there's also the heavy classes, such as the Conqueror. Who, uh, the Conqueror and the uh, Warlord have full guards, which is they can throw up their shield and block from any end. So they're pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I personally prefer the, uh, the Raider, and it's not just because I've decked him out to look cool, but, uh, you can customize them, you can get new chest armor, you can customize their weapons, I got a new helmet, um, but the one I have is currently better, so we'll break this down, and get some salvage, um, but there's, you can pretty much go into depth with customizing your stuff, um, I like this. I like I'm gonna dismantle this. I like this stuff better. Uh, the stuff that I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty decent customization. Um, you can also check out your abilities. Um, like right now, I have one called Rush. Um, probably my favorite ability for the for the Vanguard classes is called Body Count. In four v four, there's a way to um, there's a bunch of soldiers that you have to fight, and those will uh, give you health on kill. So basically what I do when I'm playing with the guys is I usually just sit in uh, the place where all the soldiers are, and I just kill them and keep getting health back. Um, but even more in depth, you can get new outfits and stuff. Like that one just paints a target on your chest, apparently. Um, and you get them based on reputation and stuff. Like you can get cool like color schemes and stuff that you wouldn't really look at. Um, Ain't nothing really in the Elite and Mythic. Um, but going into it, you can change their gender. Uh, you know, depending on who you are and your play style, you can change your skin color. Um, chest and back, you can add tattoos and marks on them. Actually, that's... No, I've got the cool one on there. Uh, you can add ornaments. This is probably my favorite one because you can just... It's just so cool. But I ended up getting this one because I didn't have it. But uh, it's like a crown of horns, which is pretty cool. Uh, standards, you can switch it up and put like different stuff on there. Oh, so that's a good thing I should go into. Um, you get to make a, a shield, basically, at the start of the game, depending on what faction you pick. And that is your, that's your gamer picture. That's like your icon. So it's pretty cool because you can put them on, like, you can put them on your stuff. So that's probably one of my favorite things. 
Um, right shoulder. So you're gonna mix it up and go with the spear point on the right shoulder. Um, you can change the colors here, switch them all around. You know, whatever you like. Uh, I like the red wine probably the most uh, out of the ones that I have. You can change the material. Um, like you can have red, gold, uh, black, white. So it's pretty cool the amount of customization you can do for you know a game where like you're stuck with nine or twelve characters. Um, by the way, I guess I should say that these are not all the characters. They will be releasing three more when the game actually launches. Um, there's let's see if I can. Uh, find it. There's supposed to be... Um, no, okay. Well, there's supposed to be, like, uh, a thing that says, like, try this character when you can't. Like, the Valkyrie, or the, uh... Or whatever. So, it's, uh, it's very much a, you know... You're, you're loyal to your faction. There's Deathmatch, there's Dominion. Deathmatch is 4v4. Dominion is uh, 4v4 with, uh, like, soldiers. I think Deathmatch is just a 4v4 on everybody. I don't know. I haven't played Deathmatch. Then there's Duel and Brawl, which is either a 1v1 or a 2v2. Uh, it's got low activity. So we'll do a couple more and uh, see what we can do. Player versus AI. Win an elimination match without dying once. I think we can do that. I think I can definitely do that. That one's pretty intense, too. Perform 25 takedowns. Player versus AI. So, an elimination match. Player versus AI. Okay, what's an elimination? What's elimination? I gotta find that. Uh, or destroy all their heroes in elimination mode. Mode elimination, player versus AI. Okay. So we'll do that. I've actually never played this mode, so this will be interesting. I got some more people in here with me. So I guess uh, it's all about uh, killing the enemy team above all else. Oh, these are all bots. Oh, wait. No, they're not. They just spawned in. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, well, that's not fair. Uh, everybody on on this team is level six except for Blue Spideris, who is who is also a raider. Shout out to uh, to my other raider. I don't know why I'm so impartial towards the Viking. Oh, what's going on? Oh, did we win? What just happened? Is it supposed to supposed to do this? What? <laughs> We're sorry, but our servers are taking longer to respond than anticipated. Your rewards will be added automatically when the response comes in. Okay. Um, I want to go River Fort. I like River Fort. Also, there's a stupid bullshit way that you can just dis completely destroy people in River Fort by just pushing them off the edge. So. But yeah, this game's super fun. Uh, Ubisoft has been cranking out good games. Not to mention that Rainbow Six Siege got some really cool DLC with the new operators. Um, but yeah, like I said, this game is going to be live February 14th. Um, just in time for Valentine's Day. So if you got that special someone, definitely pick it up for them. And uh, go on a slaughtering spree together. The, uh, the couple that kills together... I don't, I don't have a rhyme for that. So... Yep. Not to mention the game is visually beautiful, but uh, I really like how it controls and it's definitely it's definitely a uh, it's one of it it's one of a kind currently. Like I I can't really compare it to any game that I I've seen. Oh God, why? Oh god, why her? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Ah! 
Need this bitch in the face. Dead motherfucker. Okay. What a, what's going on up here? Somebody die. I'm gonna go see if I can help out my team. Oh, they're having trouble up at A. Oh, why did I do that? Oh god, ow! Let's get this guy, come on. What? How did you miss that? Oh, a uh, big thing about it, too, is there is friendly fire, and it is always on. So you got to watch where you're hitting. Oh! Get him! That's what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful where you're swinging. Oh god, I'm back with this guy again. Okay, give me this. Yeah, what is this? Was this a buff? Apparently! What? How has someone already been killed? Like, I just fucking. God damn it. Fucking get your goddamn head in the game. For the love of Christ. Now I'm just slaughtering people. Come on, guys. There's one left. Guess I'll just hold A. So what do you want to... Hey, I don't know. If I can kill someone? Okay, cool. Round two. We got this. We got this. I'm get that. Gonna get a win an elimination match without dying. I'm really psyched about that because uh, I've never done this game mode before. Oh, oh, oh! Nope, you're not doing that to me. Nope, back up, back up. Get some heals. That's all right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, that guy's dead. So basically just make sure nobody comes over and tries to revive him. But they shouldn't be able to. Ooh, what are these? So there are buffs apparently around the map. Give you some speed. Yeah, definitely some speed. Oh my god. Go speed racer. Ooh, some health buff? Give me that health buff. 4v1, someone's been revived. Not this guy. Better not be this guy. Fucking put my axe in his brain. Got anything up there? Where the fuck? Where at? Oh my god, I think they're being killed at uh blue spawn. God damn it. Let's fucking get this guy. Where he at? Where's he at? Did you guys all die? Oh my, I got him. Oh, it's the Conqueror. God! Y'all are- Why are there so many raiders? <laughs> this is a problem! Ugh. Four takedowns, no deaths, two boosts. Got them buffs. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I got that 100 steel and that 500 XP. I like Elimination. That's probably going to be one of my favorite game modes. Deploy War Assets. What's this? Yeah, I'll go there. I don't, I don't know what I just did. I, I think I did a help. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll do... 
one more and then call it a call it a video. Oh, uh, Chewy Baka left the session. What am I gonna do now? All right, Citadel Gate. Back in that ass. Back in the the old the old style. Ooh, got a Berserker. Okay, try not to be terrible. Another Raider and an AI. Okay. All right, I can see this working. A lot of Vikings here. A lot of Vikings. <laughs> I ain't complaining, cause uh, I love me some Vikings, but uh, let's try to let's try to pull this one out. I don't want to lose. Let's we'll see if I can get some better gear too. See if I can save up for those uh, those horns, those badass horns. All right, here we go. So, I'm fighting a warden right off the bat? Alright, I can take care of a warden, no problem. Oh, but they hit hard. Get the fuck out of here. Woo! Got him! Alright. Anybody need help? No, but I'm gonna go for that buff. <laughs> I'm gonna go for that damage buff. Actually, no. I'm gonna grab this health buff and then go for the damage buff. Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Hi! You're not allowed to have my fucking health buff. Oh, no! Oh, no! This is not good. Oh, he got it. Oh, God! I'm gonna die. I am gonna... Freaking get him. Oh, no! No! Guys, come on! Alright. Well, we're not doing it for, for, for a thing, so that's okay. Alright. Let's try to pull this one out. Alright, you can stop trying to hit me, please. Oh, please. Just want to win. Yep, get out of here. Oh god, oh god. Get him! In the face! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and uh, now I have Mark for Death. Okay, so these little things down here, they're, uh, they're abilities. So they're like, that's what kind of relates it to a MOBA, is because you have abilities that you, can, uh, that you can trigger as soon as you level up into certain things. So your last level is usually like a big AoE attack that can cover a large area. Oh, okay, thank you. What? Thank you, Connection. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, what? 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 What the hell just happened? What? I I got I got scared. Oh, come on! All right. Well, I guess that's a sign that we should uh, that we should we should stop for now. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like. And as always, comment and subscribe for more content. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Later!